Hello, my name is Gary Simon of designcourse.com and today is January 18th with our 18th video of the year and we are going to take a look at a new tool in Adobe Photoshop CC which is an, an update that you can download from Creative Cloud and it's called the Perspective Warp. So the Perspective Warp tool is really cool. It allows you to change the perspective of certain images and it's really useful for photo manipulations and compositing. So of course we're going to use Adobe Photoshop CC in this tutorial and if you need access to the original or end result, uh, the file that is available for free in the description below, we're going to use two images that are available for free from DeviantArt and those are also linked. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so to get started I go ahead and click on the resource, the first resource link below this video in the description here in YouTube, and you'll get this image right here made by this person right here. So click on download and we'll right click and copy the image. If you're using a browser that doesn't allow you, just save it to your desktop and then open it up in Photoshop. So I'm going to switch to Photoshop here. I'm going to go to File New and we'll call this perspective warp and control V to paste that in all right so I'm just going to work in uh, black and white so we're just gonna desaturate that and then we're gonna click on the other link here in the uh, description to get this house all right so let's say we're, for example we wanted to do some compositing or uh, photo manipulation and we want this house to, to look like it's a part of that image so we'll go ahead and download this one right click copy and we'll go to Photoshop and I'm gonna go to file new I'm not gonna paste that directly in there just yet I wanna cut this house out real quickly so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time trying to get it perfect but just to get started take your pen tool go to path make sure path is selected and we'll just start clicking down real quickly and I'm going to leave some of the brush here. So I'm just going to go outside of the house. And we'll continue it up right around here. And I'm just very quickly going around this house. Almost done. And done. Okay, so we'll right click, make selection, hit OK. And copy that and then we'll paste it in alright so what if you know I wanted to have this image for whatever reason I don't know why it would be right here um, a part of this so we could see that the angle that this building is shot at is different than this and to illustrate that real quickly we'll go ahead and I'll take the just the uh, rectangle tool just make a long line real quickly control T and we'll show that the uh, that the the angle that this building, this side of the building is following the path. And it is roughly right there. So if we take this image down here and move it, we can see that this side of the house follows a path that's more like this. So this would be the perfect usage for the perspective warp tool. So we'll hit Control T. I want to scale this down just a bit so we can see the whole thing. So if it were to start here, Leave that right there. Hit apply. We're going to go to image adjustments and desaturate that real quick. Now what I want to do, I'm going to save a backup. So this is going to be called the original. We're going to duplicate that. And I'm just going to hide this. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to edit, or edit rather, perspective warp. I'm going to zoom up. Actually, I'm going to hit don't apply yet. I'm going to zoom up first and do that. So we'll go to edit, perspective warp. And I'm just going to draw a square around this portion of the house. And I'm going to leave it right there for now. And then I'm going to take a second one. Now you can see that how these got uh, an outer kind of a blue color. And that means those are going to be joined. So I'm just going to end it right around here. And then I'm going to situate these to follow the actual shape of the house. 
All right, that looks pretty decent. And then once you're done, go ahead and hit warp. So now we can actually warp this thing to the angle, to the desired angle, which would be right around here. So we'll take this one down. All right, so I'm not even really minding what's in here. I'm just taking a look at these points to make sure that they seem to go on a pretty equal path uh, based on this building. Once you're ready, go ahead and hit the Move tool and select Apply. And now you can see how it automatically changed the perspective of this house without really any type of noticeable destruction or damage to the, uh, the actual house itself and the pixels. So if we, let's go ahead and zoom out real quick. Oops, not 100%, rather fit on screen. And now if we hide this, we can see that this much this looks much better than this. So let me go ahead and real quick, just for the fun of it, make this look like it's a little bit more a part of the scene. So I'm just gonna take the eraser tool real quickly and then we can use the clone stamp tool select the original image and I'll select maybe around here click on on our original oops here and select over here and then if we hide this we'll click right here and bring this back oops go on the original back over here oops keep on doing that sorry about that all right so that looks a lot better than what it originally did so let me just zoom out here and it, what I want to do is go ahead and take this image right here and then we'll go ahead and, and duplicate this except we'll have this image just so we can show a side-by-side -side comparison so if we go to image canvas size and the width will just double basically I'll just change this from 45 to 90 and we'll push it out to the left all right so we have the I want to take these two and just duplicate them All right, so we'll call this the original. And what am I doing here? Yeah, that's that stays there. And this one will be here. All right, so now we can see side by side just how effective the warp tool or the perspective warp tool can, can be uh, in making adjustments that would really help in photo manipulation and compositing. All right, so as always, visit designcourse.com. I am currently releasing a video tutorial every day of the year for 2014. Obviously, it's only January 18th, so I have quite a ways to go. So subscribe here on YouTube, like the channel, uh, and also check us out on the different social media uh, networks. And that is it. I'm Gary Simon, designcourse.com, and I will see you tomorrow.